Number four, balance the following equations, and then they give us this nice little equation for letter A. We have Ag solid plus H2S gas plus O2 gas all yields Ag2 solid, Ag2S solid, and then plus H2O liquid. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this equation because they don't really give me a lot of space here to work with. So I'm just going to say that we have Ag plus H2S plus O2 all being yielded or produced whenever you see this yield sign it just means that you're making Ag2S plus H2O. Okay that looks pretty that looks pretty nice and neat. We could always spruce this up a little bit. Beautiful. And if you notice I don't write any of the states like I don't write this solid I don't write this gas or this gas uh, because who cares? <laughs> When you're balancing, the states mean absolutely nothing, so you don't even have to pay attention to them. When you're starting off to learn how to balance equations, I always like to draw a little chart. It's a two-tiered chart. The left-hand side always stands for the reactants. You could put the word reactants or you could just put an R here. And the right-hand side is always the products. So you can put the word products or you could put a P here, it doesn't matter. The reactants are always your starting material. So it's always everything from the left of this yield sign. So everything from the left of the yield sign. And the products are always the right side of that yield side. But when you're doing this chart, always list your individual elements down here. So I just like to work from left to right, and I'm just going to label all of my individual elements. If I look on this side, I have uh, silver, which is Ag. I have a hydrogen, H, a sulfur, and an oxygen. So I'm just going to write that. I have Ag, H, S, and O. Now, whatever I write over here, I'm just going to replicate on the other side. It just makes everything easier. And now I'm going to write down how many I have of each. And go from left to right. So I literally have one AG here, right? There's no subscript here, and there's no number in the front. So that's always one. You have one silver. You have two hydrogens. This two goes for the H. So I have two of these. I have one S, right? There is no number here. So I have a one for sulfur. And then coming up to O2, it's an O2. There are two oxygens. So I put a two there. Now let's do the same for the other side. Just watch out, you know, if you're working from left to right, just make sure that you put the right numbers for the elements here. So it's AG2. So the two tells me that I have two AGs. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write a two. I have only one sulfur. So I'm going to put a one over here, down where the S is. I have two hydrogens. So I'm going to put a two where the H is. And I have one oxygen, right? Little little old oxygen, only one. So there we go. So now I can see clearly what needs to be balanced, right? The AGs across the board, they're different numbers, so they have to be balanced. But the hydrogens are good, right? Two and two, they're balanced. The sulfurs look good. And the oxygens need to be balanced. Always balance the one that's easy to be multiplied. So you could either balance the silver first, or you can balance the oxygen. Doesn't matter. You'll still get the same answer at the end of the day. Let's just, let's say, let's, let's do oxygen. So you always can multiply to get to the higher number between the two of them. Never bring your number down. Never try to divide. So for example, I look at the lower number. It's one. Is there any number that I can multiply by one to get me to two? Oh yeah, right? One times two. That number that you just said is now going to be the coefficient in front of the compound that has the oxygen. I can't just put a two here. That would be wrong. You're changing the complete compound. You can't do that. So I have to put a two here. One times two is now going to be two. But now you have to play fair. 
you have to take that coefficient and multiply it by every one in that compound. So the oxygens changed, but now the hydrogens changed as well. So how many hydrogens do you have now? Well, I have two times two is four. So I'm going to just get rid of the two hydrogens on the parodic side, and I'm just going to say four. Okay, now it changes things up. Now the hydrogens are not balanced, but let's see if we could fix that. Always try to go to the higher number. I'm trying to get this two into a four. Is there any number that I could multiply by two to get to four? Yeah, right, two times two. That means that I have to take that number and put it in the coefficient in the front of the H2S compound because that's the one that has the hydrogen. I'm gonna put a two here. This goes to four, which is what we wanted, but you gotta be fair. If I multiply the hydrogen by two, I gotta multiply the sulfur by two. And now, how many sulfurs do we have? Two of them, right? Oh boy. Now it looks like the sulfurs are not balanced. So let's try, ooh, why did I put an S? Not an S, a two. But the same idea, right? The sulfurs aren't balanced. I have one on this side, I have two on the other. Try to multiply to get to the higher number. One times two will get me two. So that number goes in front of the compound that has the S. So I'm gonna put a two here. So this gets rid and I put a two there. But you gotta be fair. So we multiplied by the sulfur, that's perfect. But now how many silvers do you have? How many AGs? There was a two here, but now it's being multiplied by two. Two times two is four. And now it looks like the silvers are still unbalanced, but looks like we're getting closer. I have a four on one side. I have a one on the other side. One times four will get me four, right? And that number goes here. And this would cancel out, I get four. And if I look across, four, four, so that's balanced. Four and four, that's balanced. Two and two, that's balanced. And then two and two, we are all balanced. This is your new balanced equation. You have four silvers plus two H2S plus one O2 yields two AG2S and then two H2Os. And that's your final answer. Guys, use the chart. It helps you out greatly, all right? Try a couple on your own, but we have tons of more problems of balancing. You could follow along with, with the videos as well, just so that you guys get really, really good at balancing equations. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button. And yeah, good luck on your tests. If you have quizzes or tests coming up, good luck, good luck, good luck. And I hope you have a great day. Happy studying. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.